right, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello. If you're not new here, welcome back. My name's Des. I go by Des B. And the B is now gonna be for boobs. Hello and welcome to my breast augmentation video. Okay, so as many of you guys have known from my previous videos, I've been chatting with you all about getting a breast augmentation. And today is that day. <laughs> So I am on my way right now from Ohio to Grand Rapids with my boyfriend. He's driving for me and looks like we're approaching a little bit of traffic and that's okay. But I am heading to Grand Rapids from Ohio because I had to drive down there to take my car and also pick him up. But we are obviously in bark to Florida within the next couple weeks. Like really a week and a half so we kind of had to make this a quick turnaround and also was this inconvenient that I had to drive all the way to Grand Rapids absolutely but we weren't really aware that he was gonna get this job awesome opportunity in Florida so here we are making the drive today I have surgery at 11 it is now 802 we got on the road at 5 we're almost there the one thing I'm most nervous about is the IV the second thing I'm most nervous about is that they're going to be too big like not really but that's like my worst fear is that i like come out and they like didn't do what i told them to i'd be like what i think that's really it um other than that i've been under anesthesia and stuff before i've been knocked out um i'm gonna be out of the gym but i plan on using this opportunity to kind of educate you guys on not only being out of the gym and how you can still stay active but also how you can be out, be out of the gym and be okay. So I will attach right next to me my before video. So yeah, I have a little bit of breast tissue, not a lot, but there is obviously some fat mass that does occur back there once I'm done prepping. However, this is about the height of, this is about the height of it. So here goes nothing, road to boobs right now. Say it does. I can't do this. <laughs> look over real quick. I can't. I don't know. There's nothing to look at. It's just the camera. It's not this. Um, just checking in, just, well, there you go, Des, there's your, there's a good point for me, I already messed up the first try, I'm trying to help out. Anyways, Des just went back, um, so it's gonna be about an hour, doctor's gonna come out to me in about an hour, let me know how the surgery went, she'll be under for another couple, then they're gonna monitor, make sure everything's okay, um, I know I'm not the face you wanna see, but I figured I'd fill you guys in, so, that's what's going on, so I'm hanging out. How you feeling, Des? <laughs> I don't know why I've been doing this so much lately. <laughs> Even at Disney, I'm like, I feel good. I cried a lot. She's been crying happy tears this whole when time. When I woke up, I was like, is it over? You said, yeah. I said, I have boobs. <laughs> she was like, yep. Yeah. And then I cried more. Definitely feeling tight in my chest and it's almost hard to 
talk like in a long sentence. I feel like I have to breathe a lot. But you can kind of see I have ice packs on and oh, it's kind of a nice bra to be honest. <laughs> But you can get up in here while you can kind of see them like swollen up here. Oh yeah. Um, these are gonna, they're gonna drop, kind of like balls. <laughs> For those of you who are looking into augmentation, something I did do um, was buy like nursing ice packs. I'll show you guys when I get home, um, but those will help. Just, it's kind of just like any surgery, you just have to ice actually stay away from heat and she said I could shower tomorrow but I'm not gonna shower tomorrow. I got a nice robe from my doctor and then see what it looks like. Oh that's nice. Is it nice? I can't tell. I can't tell. Oh look at that. <laughs> so we got a robe. Yeah. I got taken back and I was like, it was weird. I was like, wow, this is like really Grey's Anatomy. And they were like, yeah. And I was like, I knew I was just another, another breast on the table for them. <laughs> but then I woke up and now I'm here. All right guys, it is now 8.12. We got back to Ohio. Wyatt's making me some food. I'm not in like too much pain. I just feel really, really tired. I'm just... Literally, I don't even know what to say. Pain scale is probably like six. Not bad. Good morning, it's day two. I'm actually feeling really good, I'm gonna be honest. I ate a little bit this morning. My hunger isn't really there, but I also just had some coffee. Currently, my dog, he's being a good boy, but he's also making me nervous. But everything um, has gone pretty good so far. I took two narco or a narco last night and I took a muscle relaxer and I haven't taken a narco today I've just taken one Tylenol and a muscle relaxer so I'm trying to stay away from the hard medicine because that does constipate you and bloat you I'll show you guys a clip of what I look like today but I'm definitely retaining water which is a part of the surgery so it's okay um, but it's just interesting to see the body like change like that so I will update you guys with that um, but overall I think one thing I would tell anyone to be advised about is your nipples get really swollen. <laughs> and that's so weird to say, but they do. And I think if I wouldn't have like Googled it or known, I would have thought something was wrong, you know? So if you get your boobs down, your nipples will probably be swollen as well. I will catch you guys in a hot minute. All right guys, this is day two. As you can see, I still have my surgical bra on. I just took my first shower. Um, Wyatt had to help me a lot. That was really difficult. Um, but you can see that I'm definitely holding water in my stomach. Um, there's really nothing you can do about it. But as you're on medicine, the um, bloating starts here. And then as you continue to flush fluid down, it goes down. So right now, up in my upper tummy feels way smaller, but my bottom tummy is getting it now. I've actually been able to go to the bathroom three <laughs> times today, so that's really good. Hunger is still okay. Pain, very, very low, if not any. Just feeling super tight, but I did take a muscle relaxer and ibuprofen 800. So I'm trying to wean off the pain pills, but the ibuprofen slash Tylenol doesn't really make you backed up or constipated. So I'm still taking that, but I am completely off the narco. I, I stopped that right away. So this is what my tummy is looking like right now. So still holding a little bit of water, but ultimately out and down and out. Look how cute my pupper is. Reg. Reg, hi, you're so dang cute. You're so cute, Reggie. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. It is now day four. I just woke up. It's like eight something. I just made my greens drink, um, took my muscle relaxer and ibuprofen and a stool softener. My bowels have been pretty regular. However, just want to stay on top of it. My pain is definitely very low. 
However, I am super tight still like around my outer boob and my armpit. Last night, I woke up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom and I didn't want to like, I didn't want my dogs to get out. So I found myself accidentally like really pulling at the door to try to be fast. And it definitely pulled my boob a little bit. And it really hurt. Um, and it still hurts a little bit. Kind of just that worries me. But I'm sure I'm not the only one that's ever done that. Um, so I'm trying not to freak out about it. It's not like limiting my mobility or anything. But I definitely tweaked it. It hurt. So hopefully that'll be okay. Uh, that's about all I have for you guys now. I'll update you guys in a little bit. And let you know how that is going. However, so far it's been really good. So we'll see. Surprise! It's me! But I actually have human clothes on. I am heading out to go get sushi with Wyatt. I literally feel so good. It's kind of crazy. Other than the limitation of like how much I can move my arms up and stuff, I feel super mobile. I feel no pain, just a little bit of tightness. Um, like I said, like around my boob here, only like still tight and I just feel pressure. But honestly, like my boobs feel like they've been there my whole life. Like I don't feel like weird at all. So we're gonna go get sushi. We I ended up not checking in with my coach today just because like water retention, etc. We're just not changing anything, so there's no point. So I'm excited because this is only day four. Give me like another three days, like one week out post-op. I feel like I'm just gonna feel so good. Um, so hopefully my recovery will go faster than normal. Definitely going to aim to be in the gym on day 10 um, doing cardio and maybe some like body weight legs, like even just lunging or um, squatting body weight. So we'll see, but I feel really good. So sushi went really good. I ended up walking around the mall for a hot minute. I definitely started to feel not only tired from like expending energy, but my boobies feel like they're gonna explode. Feels like there's freaking balloons in my chest and that it's just like you could take a little pin and just beep. Definitely am more bloated than this morning even. Like you can't really see it from here, but I'm definitely like it gets worse throughout the day. Um, I do know some friends that have gotten their um, breasts done and the height of their bloat was like four to five days post-op. Um, and I think that's where I'm at right now. I didn't look too bad this morning, but as the day went on and I started moving and being active, I could definitely tell a difference. But um, even just holding my camera here feels a lot better and easier. Um, I've been stretching. I can get my arms up kind of high. Overall, I have no pain. So I'm gonna go with the fact that we are healing up quite nicely. Good morning, everyone. It is now day five since my surgery i woke up today feeling a little bit more pain only because i think i kind of overdid it yesterday but i also kind of slept weird like the way that my left arm was more propped up than my right so could be a little a few different things there but ultimately i still feel good every day has been better i don't feel like my boobs are as like alien today like they're kind of just starting to feel like normal like whatever um, but I'll show you guys what I look like this is what I'm looking like I'm definitely still swollen my boobs are definitely still swollen nips are still swollen for sure um, my stomach's starting to come down a little bit however I did have pizza last night so you can see that there's like a lot of water still there like you can see my abs <laughs> but there's just it's very watery not as bad as I've seen a lot of people. Other than that, I feel really good. I feel like I kind of, you can kind of see like cleavage now. Again, like I said, they're not as alien. So we will see. This is me trying to flex. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> good morning, everyone. It is now day six. As you can see, and probably here, I feel a lot more normal. I think today has been probably like the easiest that I've woke up today or I woke up. I don't have a lot of like mobility still when it comes to like what I'm doing right now. Even just trying to put my seatbelt on. I can't really like put my arms much over like across my body. But in terms of like putting on my sweatshirt, I did it all by myself today. I did, I got dressed all by myself. I've been brushing my hair, um, putting my hair in a ponytail. Not that it's like a good one, but I'm still doing it. Um, and I put like makeup on today and I'm going to get a blowout because my hair is so greasy. It's disgusting. But yeah, so we're gonna do that and then 
maybe stop by the mall or um, go out to lunch. I don't really know, but it feels good to finally feel like I can actually walk around and be okay. The only thing that's been interesting that a lot of people like don't really talk about on their vlogs is that my one boob has dropped a little bit more than my other boob. So like my right breast is down, like it's kind of like settled, not like permanently, but it's settled just a little bit more. And my left boob is still very much like it's raised up. You can't really tell from like this angle, but in person, um, you can't really tell either, but for me, I can tell that like this boob is just sitting higher. So that's really interesting. But other than that, they're starting to feel more, a little more squishy, but not really. So here we go. Here we go for the day. There's my update. Okay, so I just got my hair done. As you can see, it's very voluminous, um, but she did it a little bit tighter so that it'll stay for tomorrow for the wedding. But I just went to Giant Eagle picked up some stuff it was my first time kind of like grocery shopping so it was kind of it was kind of difficult to like hold the basket and like the groceries I definitely felt like ooh, like I'm using my my arms and my chest a little bit but it wasn't painful so now I'm just waiting here for Wyatt to pick me up he went to work out while I got my blowout done so I got a few things I did pick up some potassium that helps with sodium and like um, flushing out uh, water retention so I got that picked that up I also picked up a multivitamin because all of my vitamins are packed away and I haven't been able to take any of my supplements. So I'm gonna take that and that's about it. But about to go to the mall. And this is probably the best that I've vlogged because I actually feel really good. So welcome to the best day. <laughs> good morning everyone. It is now day seven and the last day of this vlog. I know they haven't been super in depth, but honestly, just not much has been happening. I also do have a great highlight on my Instagram that's Road to Boobs, and I kind of documented my check-ins daily too. But today is probably the best that I've felt waking up so far. I can actually like hold my camera and I don't feel like I'm stressing my chest or anything. Um, I also woke up like the leanest so far. It's not like I'm that lean, but whatever. Um, so you can definitely see why we hold this. So you can definitely see I still look pretty like fluffy compared to normal. Um, however, I am also, since I'm reverse dieting, I'm, I'm gaining weight. So I, who knows, like this might be normal for me, I'm not sure. Um, but you can also tell my chest looks a lot more normal. Like I kind of just, I just have some boobs now. It's kind of cool. But thanks Wyatt. Today we have Sue's wedding. So she is getting married today, which is pretty crazy, um, crazy cool. So I'm gonna be wearing like a dress. I plan to go braless um, for like the top that I have. So kind of interested to see how the day feels, but yesterday I was super duper active and I didn't really go to bed like super tight compared to normal. So I'm pretty anxious to see how the day goes. Technically, I'm six days post-op, but since I started documenting like on day one of surgery, this is why today is day seven. So we'll see how the day goes. Thanks so much again for being here. Hope I can answer some questions and make sure that you comment below if you have any additional ones so I can follow it up. I plan to do like a two or three month follow-up too. Kind of explain to you guys like how they look now, etc. So see you in a second. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. I'm a fan. Okay guys, so we are almost to Sue and Alex's wedding. As you can see, the girls came out today. Look at this. <laughs> Just kidding, not really. But like, honestly, can't believe I can actually do that. That's kind of cool. Feeling really good. My left boob has actually dropped a lot like since even this morning um so they're actually pretty freaking close to even right now um which granted there's still a lot more dropping and fluffing to occur but i'm really not worried about it because it's just it's a natural thing to happen um but i feel really really great i'm not wearing my surgical bra right now i'm supposed to for the first 10 days for like 24 hours however 
having a few hours out of it, I'm gonna be fine. I do have it packed in my bag so that right when I'm done with the wedding, I can put it right on and get back to it. But the biggest thing is really making sure that your boobs stay close together. So if I was just wearing like a t-shirt, that probably would be worse than what I'm wearing right now, but I'm wearing like a strapped bandeau so I can kind of keep my boobs together. But that is really the reason behind the surgical bra is keeping them close. Um, Cause they're kind of setting just like anything else, like a mold or something weird but yes we're almost to the wedding thank you guys so much for being a part of this vlog being a part of my journey um, I'm gonna leave you guys here but make sure that you give this video a thumbs up make sure that you subscribe and uh, if you don't give it a thumbs up you know what happens as always nothing but please just give it a thumbs up comment below if you have any other questions or would like to see something else regarding my breast augmentation or any other questions like that uh, I think that's it just catch you later, folks.